Hello everybody and welcome back to a new video on my YouTube channel. I'm Nicholas and we are here with the next trailer for The Devil and Me, the finale of the Dark Pictures Anthology Season 1. We are less than two weeks away from the release. I'm really, really damn excited, okay? Really, really can't wait to play it. And the next trailer we are going to be checking out, after we have already checked out all the previous trailers, is the character introduction trailer. And... Given the fact that I already made character ranking videos for the other games, I think it's safe to say um, that characters are really important for me in this game, or in these games, because, well, in a game where our choices matter, I want the characters to be meaningful and characters that I actually care about saving, you know? Someone like Dylan or Caitlyn, and not someone like, I don't know, Taylor as example from, you know, she was a bit... Uh, whatever, but um, yeah, just got home. Yeah, otherwise, I would have probably uh, reacted to this straight away. But just got home from work, and yeah, that's the first thing we're doing. So, let's not waste any more time and get a bit better look at the characters. Okay, let's see what we got. 18. Of course, the intro again. Have you yet to watch any gameplay? Yeah, avoided all of that still. I only have the trailer informations. That's all we need. Okay. I told my team they're free this weekend. I'm Charlie. They're a temperamental bunch. I think that's the teacher? It's amazing. What we can get here can take the show to the next level. Ooh, I like... Dad, how did he know what our show was about in the first I like that accent. Actually, I did not. You're shitting me. We're trapped. What do we do? This place is massive. Charlie oh, Lonnie. There's a pack of cigarettes in here somewhere. Ah, I think you don't want the cigarette those cigarettes. Ah. Ooh. Kate, okay, prison, yeah, with with Jesse. Yeah, she's the main character, definitely. As Mark, as example, we know. Away, and now it's getting scary. Would it kill you to think Ooh. positively just once? Oh shit! Okay, Mark, he's the same actor from, um... You know who, from... Uh, Junior, I think, from Men and Medan. Always focusing on the detail, Mark. What about taking a huge risk and just do something? Oh my god. Jamie, okay, she's the same one that played Fizz. You watch too many horror movies. Fine. Don't come crying to me if you end up dead. Great. In the creepy maintenance room in the creepy hotel on the creepy island, shoot a dog about serial killers all alone and without my stun gun. No. Aaron, and Aaron. We would be lost without you. I've already had one asthma attack today, and this I dog think exactly she's I a new actress, Please right? I don't think we've seen her before, or. Me. I don't think that's... Damn, it's really going to be a blown-out killer. That's really cool, you know? the first time Charles booked an expert who's nothing more than a serial killer groupie. All that's missing is a big final twist. Wait, what? Who is that? It's a rat. Hmm... Okay, that was honestly not what I expected. I thought this would be going to be an extra character introduction where we like actually get to know the characters, but instead we just, you know, we got the names and the actors from them, you know, but like, huh. That's different than I anticipated it to be, yeah. But what we saw was yet again another glimpse into things we hadn't seen yet, and that were especially lots and lots of more um, kill variations in locations, like the one in the, um, you know, the one with Mark here. Uh-uh-uh-uh, where he, you know, the one with the corpses hanging from above. I think that's going to be a really, really cool location. Where is it, where is it? Uh, you know, this one here. That looks really, really, ooh. Like mentioned, generally we know already that apparently the killer has been killing for a while, so you know, he, he preparated uh, corpses from his previous victims to use in the game against us, uh, like we saw here with Jamie, you know, the one with the, with the skeleton and everything. But like, what I really enjoy about this trailer once again is that the trailer really shows that the 
he's really out for us. It's really a human murderer trying to kill us. I really don't see for now how the, how there's supposed to be supernatural twists this time outside of um, like we already um thought about um that the killer is actually supposed to be you know H.H. H. Holmes reincarnated in some way yeah that's the only twist uh, supernatural wise that would make sense for now i don't see how we can involve any monster creatures this time around yeah I really don't see how, how that could work this time because it really really seems like this time it's really a human just fully brutally murdering us, you know? And that's cool! Again, I honestly like that. I personally really really enjoy that because again, after having monsters all the time, it just seems refreshing in some way. To have it really be a human, it just makes the threat feel so much more realistic and so much more, you know, because you can really imagine, shit, someone could actually be doing that, right? It's a huge difference to be like, oh yeah, that's a, that's a fantasy monster right there killing me, or if it's an actual human being that you can, you know, like really, I don't know, believe could be doing that to you in that moment. Huh. Again, it, oh, that's interesting though, like mentioned, what's with her? Who's that supposed to be? That's not one of us, right? No, the hair doesn't fit either of the characters. We we already saw um yeah, yeah, Kate in the background, so I guess one of the corpses he used to, you know. Generally, I'm interested to see how the pacing will be and how the general branches will look like. Obviously, we will all be getting there first. Then have some talk sections and whatnot. Then I guess the, everything will start. But how will everything be split open? How will the characters get split? And, you know, what will happen? I'm so excited to see it. You know, I'm just so excited to see the big tree once again. Did you see that picture on the Supermassive uh, Twitter where they posted this huge... um picture of um all the branches and choice paths in the quarry insane you know and i exactly want something like that for the devil me too and i just certainly want to see once again paths like this what do they have in store for us this time something entirely new or would they just be doing once again um bearing food weapons and whatnot you know to defend yourself from the killer or something who will the killer be what will the twist ultimately be you know Ah, I'm ready. You know what I mean? I'm excited. I can't wait to sit here and just play for this thing. I do not know yet, though, if it will be once again in one sitting, like for the previous um, Dark Pictures Anthology games, or given the length that I will be doing it in like two sections, we will see. But I'm just excited, you know? I'm excited. Yeah, and here we also saw that um, the killer dropped down Kate, you know, from the from the rooftop. We already saw that in trailers uh, where we saw the... Um, we we saw them walk across the rooftop, so he will be everywhere, basically, right? It or, or maybe not. Maybe it will be dependent on previous choices. If we can keep him out of something, or if he will be, have access to the location we're at and whatnot. Okay. <sighs> I don't know. The character trailer, like mentioned, wasn't really an introduction in that way. Like I barely know anything about the characters and the personality. Still, it's still for us to find out. The only thing we really got were the names, but. Other than that, we still got, once again, got cool, cool visuals that really, really raised the excitement for the release. So, yeah, The Devil Me releases November 18th, which is for me now just around 13 more days. Extremely excited, and I hope you are excited for my playthrough of the game. Join me for it on November 18th. Other than that, have a great time, have a great weekend, and see you again soon with more videos on my channel. Thank you for watching.